we've designed the dual power to be really simple to use. First, decide if you want to do the high traffic areas or if you're going to move all of the furniture in order to clean the entire room. Next, vacuum thoroughly to get as much surface dirt up as possible. Now you need to prep your cleaner. Press the latch on your solution tank and tilt it away from the cleaner to remove it. Fill the tank with hot tap water first. Then use the flip side of the cap as a measuring tool. You'll want to add two capfuls of solution to your clean water tank. Step on this button to release the handle and turn the cleaner on. Squeeze the trigger as you slowly push the cleaner forward. Go slower than you think you need to. The slower, the better. Continue to squeeze the trigger as you pull your cleaner back over the same spot. Now, do the same thing again, this time without squeezing the trigger. This will extract excess dirt and water from your carpet. Continue until you see very little water passing through the nozzle. Now that you're finished there, overlap your next row by at least an inch, like this, to help avoid streaks of dirt between rows. While you're cleaning, you may begin to lose suction or hear a change in the sound of your motor, like this. These are indicators that your dirty water tank is full and needs to be emptied. To rinse your carpets, empty and refill your clean water tank with warm water, no solution, and go over it using the same method as when washing. The last thing to do is to make sure you properly empty both the clean and dirty water tanks. First, squeeze the latch on the clean water tank and empty out any remaining cleaning solution. Rinse it out really well and let it air dry. Now you can move on to the dirty water tank. Once you've removed it, unplug the pour cap and empty out all the dirty water. Rinse the tank thoroughly with clean water. The best way to do this is to fill it up about halfway, then swirl it around. Once you've emptied and cleaned the tank, set it out to dry. Water will sometimes drip from the brushes on the bottom of your dual power immediately after use, so we recommend that you don't store your cleaner on a wood or laminate surface until it's totally dry. 